You may be thinking that my bassoon looks a bit naked and that it's missing a lot of its keys, but actually this instrument is a copy of a classical era bassoon, which is very similar to the instrument that Mozart would have heard and written for. So all those absolutely glorious Mozart bassoon parts, which are my absolutely favorite thing to play, and the Mozart concerto, would have all been conceived for this style of instrument. If I hold it up next to the modern bassoon, so this is what you will be more used to seeing and hearing in orchestra. Obviously it has far more keys, um, and it's a little bit fatter. In the 18th and 19th centuries, the wind instruments underwent huge transformation as composers were writing more chromatic lines, so they wanted to extend the range of the instruments. Um, the modern bassoon has these thumb keys, which allow you to play a lot higher, and the classical bassoon only has two, which actually in its time was very modern. The Baroque bassoon doesn't have any thumb keys here. Um, also, the instruments needed to be more powerful as orchestras were getting bigger and bigger. But this instrument is absolutely perfect for playing Mozart on. It sings, it has a beautiful focused sound, and it just sounds absolutely lovely in the hands of a capable player, which I'm very, very excited to say you will be hearing in New Zealand in August when Zafiro is on tour. Now, um, this ensemble is absolutely at the forefront of historically informed performance. Um, they are all masters and absolutely inspirational musicians. Um, when I was about 22 or 23, I spent a summer in Urbino in Italy studying with Alberto Grazzi, the bassoon player, and Alfredo Bernardini, the oboist. Um, and it was one of the most inspiring times of my whole life. I am extremely excited that they are coming to New Zealand and that I get a chance to welcome them here and hear them um, up close, as you will if you come to the concerts. They're playing Handel, Telemann, Haydn, Mozart, and one of my very favorite composers, Johann Fasch, who wrote some extremely virtuosic and quirky um, bassoon parts. He's not a composer you hear every day, but certainly a very exciting um, compositions, and I know that you will just love them. So I really look forward to seeing you at the concert. Okay, goodbye.